Okay, um, I'm experimenting with the lighting right now. I'm trying to find like a good place to film. So this was just a random one, but trauma. Trauma. If you're in a place of experiencing trauma, or you've just experienced trauma, I need you to throw yourself into something that is incredibly cathartic. That could be exercise, that could be a dance group, that could be a new hobby, that could be singing your work maybe, though I wouldn't necessarily advise that for everybody. Gym. These might sound like basic things, but the reason that I'm advising this is because at times of trauma, that is when it's so easy to fall into addiction. So easy to get stuck in really bad, unhealthy habits. When you experience trauma, it's so easy to sit in it and to just become the product of it. It's very easy to lose sight of your light, of your future, of the long term. And you know what? You don't need to see that. You don't need to see that because some heartbreak is so deep that you can't even see beyond the next 24 hours, let alone the next year. You have an advantage, which is a fire in the pit of your stomach that non-untraumatized people do not have. Use it. Use it. Make your story. Trauma is not all that you are, and it's not all that's going to happen to you in this lifetime. You make sure of that. You get up, even if it's hard, it's gritty, it's painful, you're numb, you don't even feel anything. Get up. Even if you're in a zombie state, get up, get dressed, get out the house. It doesn't have to make sense. You don't have to feel things. You don't have to please other people. You just need to do things. And keep doing them. Don't turn to alcohol. Don't turn to drugs. Don't turn to porn. Don't turn to overeating and eating shitty food. That I don't even think really qualifies as food. You don't need to see the light. You just need to keep moving. Okay. You have so much ammunition right now. Don't turn it inwards. Don't let it fester. Pain from trauma, it takes time to heal. And we all heal in different ways. So I can't tell you exactly what to do. But I'm telling you what not to do, which is nothing. Get up, keep moving, go outside, soak in the sunlight. It might not make any sense. You might not want to. Whoever said anything about wanting to, I'm not giving you a choice. Not with that. When it comes to action or inaction, I tell you action. I'm the director, bitch. <laughs> and you better fucking listen. Stay moving. Stay moving. Even if it hurts. Even if it burns. Any of my workout freaks out here, you know. You know when you're doing a workout. Yeah, and it's really difficult. And you kind of tell yourself, like, well, this is what I tell myself, amongst many other things. I don't need you to even go all the way. You know what? It hurts so bad. I don't need you to do the full range of motion. If that's if it's not happening, if your muscles aren't moving past a certain point, I just need you to keep moving. Give me all you got with that. Just keep moving. It might hurt. It might you might feel like you're burning. You know. You might feel nothing. You might
I'd be like, what's the point? What's the point? Days could pass, weeks, months of it just not making sense and you're like, what is the point in any of this? You're not gonna see it right now. You know when you will see it? When you're in the light. I can't give you a timeline that's very person-to-person -person specific but what I am encouraging is for you to keep going remember that you will overcome this this too shall pass I don't know why I said it with an accent okay <laughs> but it's true but in order for that to happen, you can't stay stuck in it. You need to get up and you need to fight for yourself. And the reason that I haven't said these things is because it's very easy to say that. It's very easy to do the motivational stuff, which I do a lot of. But the actual practical, boring, mundane day-to-day, -day, talking about that isn't particularly inspiring, is it? If I tell you the key to your happiness is getting up and brushing your teeth, would you really believe me? But truly, get up. When that alarm goes off, get up. Don't put it on snooze. Get up. Brush your teeth. Get dressed. It's going to make a world of a difference. Make it a point to go outside every day. Not just in the car, but outside, walking, even if it's just five minutes around the block. I could go on to say you owe it to yourself, but again, when you're feeling so low, what difference do those words make? I just need you to keep moving. That's it. You don't need to think about anything else. You don't need to think about anything else. Just move. Do what needs to be done. It's not about being able to do it. It's just about doing it. Understood? And you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be more than okay. I could say, you know, you can either sink or swim. I guess that's what this is. I want you to swim. I want you to get up every fucking day and swim. Don't come at me with, I don't know how to swim. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck off. I hope you understand what I'm saying. You don't need to think about the long term. You don't need to know what life is going to look like five, ten years from now. You don't need to think about that. I don't need you to think about that. I just need you to stay moving. Or as Dory says, just keep swimming. That's it. That's it. Okay? And when you're ready, find ways to talk about it, to move through the pain, to release, to heal, to reflect, to consolidate. For now, I just need you to move. Okay? That's it. One step at a time. One day at a time. Okay? One task at a time. One conversation at a time. You got this. I promise. And then so.